Uh, so I share those concerns, but it can't be uh, in substitute for also saying that the conduct that went on here is unacceptable for any president of the United States to have engaged in. And what I mean specifically is, in the 10 weeks after the election, the continued allegation and a fact statement of fact by the president that the election was stolen, when in fact, there has not been any credible evidence that's been brought forward to show that the election was stolen or that the result was illegitimate. So all of this is just to engage your mind in nonsense. The American public loves scandal. The American public loves conflict. So that if your mind is engaged in anything in the political world, you are missing true life. Why is that? Well, because all politics are fake. All. Politics are meant to divide the population. Politics are meant to provide the population with propaganda so that what goes on on stage will occupy your mind. You will be like someone going to the movie theater and enjoying the movie. You will be like someone going to a play and sitting in the audience watching the actors. But what you fail to consider is this. There are curtains in the background of the stage and there's a behind the curtains happenings in other words, your eyes are on the stage. Therefore, you will not look beyond the stage or around the stage. Your eyes will be glued on the actors on stage acting out nonsense. Does that mean that there's a puppet government. Well, sure. Absolutely. Does that mean a lot of things go on in secret behind my back and your back? Absolutely. Will you ever know what goes on behind your back? Maybe you will know a few things if you decide to give up politics, if you decide to stop believing liars on television news stations, if you decide to start using your own senses and your own critical thinking skills, you might be able to understand a little bit of what goes on in this crazy world that is controlled by Satan, the demons, and those who agree to serve Satan willingly. Now, some people serve Satan, and they really don't know they're serving Satan. But you have many individuals who willingly give up their soul and their spirit to serve the devil and thus acquire great wealth and great influence in this life. It's the exchange that was presented to Jesus in the temptation narratives whereby the devil took him out of the city and showed him multiple kingdoms that could be his, riches and wealth untold, if 
he would fall down and worship the devil. That same exchange is true to this very day. And that's what secret societies are all about. The secret societies are all about people giving up their soul and spirit to get lots of wealth, power, influence, material things here and now as they come under the rule of the devil. So what you're seeing in front of you is just nonsense to entertain you, to entrap you, like a little bug is entrapped in a spider's web. And once you're in the web of news and politics, all you'll do is squirm around. Of course, the spider eventually comes and gets the bug. So, life for the bug is over. But basically, your life is over if you buy into any of this. Because you will get trapped in it. Sure. Um, and other, as I said in my earlier answer, other um, uh, sanctions that could have been placed on this. And, and I also want to say this idea that we didn't have a peaceful transfer of power. We did. And in fact, everything that Christina just brought up, I think, is proof of how durable and how strong our democracy is. Judges appointed... Okay, the word democracy is misleading. It just means people rule. Demos and arche. Arche from the Greek rule. Demos, people. Right? So either ruled by the people or ruled uh, over the people, but it's never defined who are the people. And incidentally, those who know even the politics world would say something like, we're not a democracy, we're a republic. Well, I understand that, and that's a much better word than saying our democracy, because democracy can be anything anyone so desires it to be as to rule. In one of my other videos, I showed you in that speech of Lincoln where he says, government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish off the earth. That's all nonsense too. It's in one of my videos on called Why We Fright. So, don't be pulled into anything political. Because it's all nonsense. Go into the Holy Bible and study the Holy Bible. Thank you for watching.